What's up guys? Welcome back out here to another video. So in today's video, we are going to be trout fishing, specifically brook trout. And brook trout are really active in the winter. We're ice fishing for them. They're pretty close to shore. As you can see, we have holes dug fairly close to shore. We have two tip ups already set up over there. We set that guy out a little deeper just because we're still trying to figure out where these brook trout are. They're going to be closer to the surface than most fish in the winter and they're going to be pretty active. So it should be really fun. We got Daniel with us today and yeah let's go catch some trout. I'm gonna start off by fishing pretty close to shore just using this underspin with a small mealworm on the end of the hook right there. I'm assuming they're gonna be pretty high up to the surface so I'm only gonna let out a little bit of line and can I just look for them while I'm jigging? Oh I just saw one. I think I, I'm getting. I see them. Next oh, to I just got hit. I just got hit. How deep are you? Like two feet deep. There's a school at mine. Is that hole right next to you, Doug? Yeah, yeah, but. Can I pop? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> just barely hooked him there's a whole school down there though i don't know how much of that you guys saw but there's a there's a whole school of brook trout attacking my lure just like two feet below the ice and this guy just took it pulled him up and he popped off right as he got out of the hole there that's sick this is the first brook trout of the day right here. Just about eight inches, a little guy, but there's a whole school down there. We're gonna get back to fishing. They're so slippery. That was, that was an awful release. Yeah, no. All right, good stuff guys. First fish, thank you, bud. Um, I'm gonna get a GoPro like looking under the ice. Oh. They're coming? Yeah. But low key, low key, low key. Just don't make too many step noises. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I'm trying to not spook these guys since I got another school back. I just got such a good bite. Exactly what you were talking about, where it like turns over. For some reason, they just aren't sticking. Do you have any smaller? Are they biting your? Your spoon or your maggot? Both. Both. Just disappeared. <laughs> Come on. I think I just tip up. I don't move the tip. He put his whole mouth over it. It's beginning to sound more and more like a fish, bro. Okay, I think there's one. Like, I came over and it spun like three times. <laughs> but I also kicked like the snap. Yeah. Thoughts? There might be. I'm going to switch up to a lure with more hooks. Probably one of these little guys right here because they have two treble hooks. As you guys saw, I was getting hit left and right by those brook trout. They were just coming in schools and just hitting it back and forth, which was pretty sick, but nothing was sticking. So I think I'm going to throw on one of these guys. They have more hooks um, and see if that helps. Got one. There we go. The treble hooks worked. Sorry, bud. There's the second one I got right there on that Rapala ripping wrap. Just that small chrome one. Look at that those white tip tails. Yeah. These guys are awesome. So cool to catch these guys. We'll release him. Ready, bud? There he goes. 
three of them. There's so many of them. Oh, you got one. Nice. That was sick. They were all just right in there chasing this shiner. Um, stuck the GoPro down there. Hopefully you got some of it. I'm not really sure, but nice like six inch brookie right there. Right after we caught the other one over there on the Rapala. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah. Thank you, bud. No. Oh, I got bluegill. What's up, my guy? His eyes are huge. I told you that's sick. <laughs> I just got this bluegill. This guy's eyes are huge. Um, I left my ripping wrap in there while I was digging more holes, and he was biting the uh, mealworms off the hooks. So. Well there we go. Oh, another brookie. Woo. He's bleeding. There he goes. Oh, he's just swimming around though. Hey, it's okay. You'll figure him out. There At the end there, we were trying to get a few underwater shots of those brook trout hitting our shiners. We were cleaning up the tip-ups and we dropped a couple of shiners in those holes and we're filming them. I had a few brook trout come up and hit them, but none fully committed and ate them. They kind of just like played with them. Um, but we're about to head out of here. It's been a really good morning catching these brook trout. I think we got six or so, which was awesome. They're all pretty small. We saw a few bigger ones, but um, I'm figuring the bigger ones were a lot smarter than the smaller ones. Uh, but we got a bunch of those small ones. Really fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.